and foremost, I want to give all the honours, the praises, and all the glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour. His name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Mahara, Kadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence and honours to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to you few brothers and sisters that are listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. This can't be a quickie because really I want to get two lessons done and I have to free up data. Look, I've got so much data on it, I need to free it up. Wait, Lord willing, this is going to be edifying. This is going to be based on the man that built his house upon the rock. Okay, get straight to it. This is Matthew's quick. Matthew 7, and we're going to jump straight to verse 24. Wherefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, will I like him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. So we have to do these words that we're actually pronouncing, these same scriptures we're bringing out, we have to actually apply it to the best of our ability. That man may be likened to a man that built his house upon a rock. A rock is a strong foundation. If you're building a house, you need a solid foundation and it needs to be straight okay and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and this represents the winds and the floods represent and the rain represent tribulation things we go through right and beat upon that house that house is Yahawashai but the house is us as well right and that's why we hope we're built upon Yahawashai and built upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock that rock is Yahweh Shai right so we want to be founded upon Yahweh Shai and everyone of everyone that hear these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon sand sand is a weak foundation you ever built a sand castle right and the and, and the water comes and it the shore over the shore and it blows over that sand castle. That's a weak foundation. So we want a strong foundation. Okay. And the rain descended, key thing, descended. Right? And the floods came. And the winds blew, which is the trials and tribulations. And beat upon that house. And it fell, and great was the fall of it. Great. Because it wasn't founded upon Yahweh Shai. This is why we say Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. He's the foundation. He's the only one that's going to keep us going. That's why he said in John, without me, you can do nothing without me. Yahweh Shai is that foundation. So now let's quickly go to Psalms as well. The Lord wants us to be doers, not just hearers. Okay, let's also go to Psalm 62. Truly my soul waiteth. Upon Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. From him cometh my salvation. Verse 2 He only is my rock. Alright. And my salvation. Key thing. Rock and salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. Alright. I shall not be moved. I shall not be greatly moved. Right. Because you're on a rock. You're on that foundation. Right. Strong foundation. Not Nawabism. Not buddha not christianity in the form of what they're teaching you today not sikhism not hinduism not black unconsciousness i call it a strong foundation yahweh shai and i shall not be greatly moved so that's that foundation now let's go to james because i did want to make this a short one we got to start doing that from now on as well making these short lessons because i got so much data and i'm having trouble <laughs> getting these videos getting these videos out on time Bear me just a minute, go to James now. The Lord wants us to be doers. Now, we're not going to be perfect in everything we do, but as long as we're making that effort towards Yahweh Shai. Now, let's go to James 2. And hold on just a minute. This is James 1 and 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. Jump straight to the point. Verse 22. But be ye doers of the word. So we have to be doers. Doers. We have to be practical. And practical, that's where you're really going to gain a lot of experience because you're being practical. I always say this. Now, knowledge is good. Knowledge is, that's fine. But we want to be practical 
with what we're learning. When you're practical, you're, you have experience because you've actually done it, right? That's why the scriptures talk about being a doer of the word and not just a hearer only, okay? And it says, Baba Kishar, check this out. And not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Don't you? We don't want to deceive ourselves, right? And others can see that will show. People can see if you're really about what you are speaking of. People can see that. You don't need to say, I'm a godly man. People will see that over time. Let your actions speak for you. Be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own self. So when people see you, they know you don't just you don't just talk the talk, you walk the walk and you can talk the talk. People see that. You're not an actor. And people do respect that. Even though they may not always say it, people respect that. Because that's someone that stands on something, right? That's someone you can trust. And people want people like that on their side, right? Excuse me. And not hearers only. So we can't just be hearers. Oh, yeah, yeah, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, I'll come around next week and you never see the person again. Right? Yeah, I hear you, I hear you. But you has to be more than a hearer. Deceiving your own souls. We don't want to be deceiving ourselves. For if any man be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like, a, like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. So if you're just a hearer and you're not a doer, you're just like a man beholding his natural face in a glass. Right? Which goes back to the old man you were. Right? Which goes into self-reflection. Okay? And it says, Baba Kasha, for he behold himself. Okay? Check this out. And goeth his way. Check this one. And straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. So that's what happens to a lot of individuals within this truth. They start to forget what manner of man they really were. And they go right back to doing the same stuff. Right? Whatever madness they were doing. Okay? And straightway forget of what manner of man he was, but whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continue therein, we have to continue in what we learn. I always have the mentality, I'm not doing enough. And continue therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work. So we have to be doers. Make sure we're doing, right, this work. Doers. Okay. The Lord loves that. And when he sees that, he can sup with you. Okay, this man shall be blessed in his deeds. So if you're doing these things, you're going to be blessed. Okay, blessed. All right. And I want to quickly bring this out because a lot of people say, um, are, are, are I religious? And I, I did say, no, I'm not. No, 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 no. We are religious. Check this out. If any man among you seem to be religious and bridle not of his tongue, he deceives his, he deceives his own heart. This man's religion is vain. So no, we have a religion. Religion is worship. We worship Yahweh Shai. In terms of religion, but we don't worship idols. So no, 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 no. It is a religion, <laughs> right? We worship Yahweh Shai. Okay. Pure religion and undefiled before the heavenly Father. And Father is this to visit the fatherless, the widows in their affliction, and to keep himself unspotted from the world. So this is what we're supposed to be doing: keeping ourselves unspotted from this world as well, right? So I'm going to shut off because I want to go to my next lesson. I'm going to quickly um, process this video. Because I need to free up some space. Then we go into the next lesson. Right? Shalom.